The sea butterflies are a suborder of swimming sea snails. The sea butterfly has a scientific name of Thessacomata. This group of sea snails play a vital role in the oceanic ecosystem for many reasons. When you think of a butterfly, you tend to think of wings and the ability to fly. Well, the sea butterfly mirrors the land butterfly in that it has developed parapodia, which are wing-like arms or lobes that allows them to travel through water by following currents. This makes them appear to fly. Remarkably, this nimble creature is less than one centimeter in length. A very similar animal to the sea butterfly is the sea angel. However, they do differ in appearance, as sea butterflies have a calcium carbonate shell which allows them to adapt to any changes in the ocean's acidity. Sea butterflies are mainly passive feeders, using plankton as their primary food source. However, they are very unique in the way that they obtain their food. Remarkably, the sea butterfly will create a web or net of mucus that can measure around 5 centimeters, which in fact is far bigger than their own bodies. They will allow plankton to float into the nets and then trap them. If the process is disturbed in any way, the sea butterfly will throw the net away and start again. The sea butterfly is a mainly pelagic animal, meaning that they occupy open water, rarely venturing near the coastline and the seafloor. They are exclusively found in seawater rather than freshwater. A hot spot of habitation is off the western coast of America, ranging from British Columbia to California. They are also found in the North Atlantic Ocean and pretty much inhabit all oceans from the tropics to the polar regions. Every sea butterfly is hermaphroditic, which means that they possess both male and female reproductive organs. However, from the start of their life they are male and only begin to produce eggs once they have grown up. These eggs get released into the water column until they get fertilised and ultimately hatch. The biggest threat to the sea butterfly's existence is the change in its habitat. These changes are sometimes natural, but largely come from human activity, which can alter the water pH level as more and more carbon dioxide and other gases get released into the air. When the ocean absorbs more CO2, the water acidity changes. The acidity can harm the body of the sea butterfly. Another threat that they have to consider, especially as a very small animal, is the number of larger predators that can eat them en masse. Whales and fish consume large amounts of sea butterflies, sea angels and other very small creatures. Ultimately, the sea butterfly is not only an interesting specimen, but a vital part of the oceanic food chain. Without them and other small creatures, many larger animals would not survive. Explore more about the ocean at oceaninfo.com.